iPod project is quite new um, to our clinic and we actually had the opportunity to watch the screening of Alive Inside a couple of weeks ago um, and we we're just our whole clinic was amazed by it and we were referring before but every time a patient comes in to see us and we ask about music and we ask about kind of their activities of daily living and what they're interested in um, the iPod project always pops into our minds. The Alzheimer's Society is great because we actually get communication back to us telling us exactly what happened. They'll send an email or a fax to us just explaining exactly when the iPod will be picked up and you know what types of services the, um, they've looked into as well. But we just find that the iPod product, there's not a lot in the community that we're able to do outside of the clinic that is actually a hands-on sort of resource that we can actually give to people and something like music that generally a lot of people are interested in and it has shown great gains for individuals with dementia. We just find that it's very helpful for families to actually take something so tangible that they can actually then put into to practice within the following couple of weeks. Um, so we've, re again, referred a lot of patients and we've gotten a lot of great feedback saying that patients are really loving it and they're loving the whole process and that the Alzheimer's Society of Toronto is able to gather so many songs that they never thought that they would be able to find. Um, so it's just, it's amazing. I can't say enough good things about the iPod Project. We're very happy and thankful that the Alzheimer's Society of Toronto has this program.